must count so I can be more. Make a difference in this world is what we're here for. I count, give 100%. The money I make, more than I spent. I count, put the numbers to the test. Balance my life, add to success. I count, will I be a star? Forget about the rest, be who you are. I count. GARP stands for General Accepted Accounting Principles. Exclamation mark. <laughs> I count, so I can be more. Make a difference in this world is what we're here for. Well, it would be a good idea for you to work according to the generally accepted accounting principles in your business, especially if you're going to expand when we get to Cape Town. I don't need those accountancy principle, gob, whatever things. <laughs> it is just because you don't understand them. You do need principles. I'll teach you. It'll be fun. Fun? Staring at the tree is much more fun. But is the tree going to pay your bills? Well, I don't know. Let me ask him. Mr. Tree, please pay my bills. Please. Ugh, you're so stupid. Fine, give it to me, baby. Generally accepted accounting principles are a set of rules that accountants follow to see that the information they record and report on is accurate, acceptable and reliable. Lovely. But what does that have to do with budget tees? You need this so that you can run a business that makes sense. Still, what does this have to do with my small business? Well, have you recorded all the expenses you had in the same period as the revenue you generated from those expenses? This is called the matching principle. You just bought new printed t-shirts at a more expensive cost than you originally thought. How are you going to make up those expenses? Uh, by selling t-shirts. Good, but at what price? The same price as always. But your expenses were more. If you sell at the same price, you're going to make less profit. Yeah, I see. Thanks for pointing that out. You see, you need to know these things. You know what, Lona? All of a sudden, I look at you in a new light. Almost like you have got them open. Ah, uh, you're so lame. What are you talking about? The garb in my life. Ah, uh, more lame. I'm trying to explain the generally accepted accounting principles to your lame brother. But as you see, it is going nowhere. Well, all I know is that my name is in there somewhere. Principle of prudence. It means that things are done in a careful manner. Exactly. If in doubt, record things on a conservative basis with prudence. I must say, you definitely do not live up to your name. Hey, what do you mean? Oh, wait, there goes Bookie. Come here, Bookie. Oh, my point proven. Prudence needs to be uh, prudent. I count. Gap is, um, I'm not sure as well, maybe it's like political party. Guys, I mean, how lame can Bud really get? Does he even know anything about business, really? But anyway, can you guys tell me something about the Gap principle? Well, I know it stands for General Accepted Accounting Principles. Mm -hmm. And what are those principles? Um, they're the principles that form the basis of the accounting process. Mm -hmm. And the first one is uh, the business entity principle, which simply means that um, all the financial issues of the owner must be kept separate from the financial issues of the business and all the other entities that the business deals with. So, it means that what the owner is doing with his cash it's totally different from what's happening into his business. Yes. Like each one is separated thing, right? Right. So the next one is the matching principle. And I think I'd like to watch it all over again since Lona did it so beautifully. Mm. I count. Well, have you recorded all the expenses you had in the same period as the revenue you generated from those expenses? This is called the matching principle. I count. So, guys, Lona is really spot on. So expenses and revenues, and revenues being the money that's coming into the business, have to be recognized at the same period. So the expenses have to balance with the income that those expenses are generating. Do you understand? So they have to match. That's it being called the matching principle. 
Then you have the historical cost principle. What this basically means is that the assets and liabilities have to be recorded at the historical cost. And all that means is that it's the cost that they were originally paid for. It works for me in my business. I mean, for example, I write down the stock, my stock, for the price that I bought it for. I like the going concern principle. It sounds so positive always. What does that one say again? It means that the accountants must assume that their company will exist in the near future. Keep on going, going, and going, going, and going, going, and going, going. Well, that's true. Because if accountants didn't work on that basis, then a lot of accounting practices wouldn't work. Say, for example, them allocating costs over several years while an asset is depreciating. Okay. And then we have our lovely prudence. And I must agree with Luna on this one because prudence has nothing in common with the principle of prudence. So prudence basically means doing things in a very careful manner. So if you're not sure about anything before you record it, rather record it in a very conservative way because, you know, you don't want to take chances in case you're wrong. So be prudent. Be careful. I want to do the last one. The final principle being the principle of materiality. If something is material, it means that it is of utmost importance to a certain situation or topic. Now, accountants need to highlight information that is material to the readers of the financial documentation or the reports. Okay, cool. That is very goptastic. <laughs> now, I'm the lame one here. <laughs> GOP stands for Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. GARP is a set of rules that accountants follow. The main objective of the GARP framework is to make sure that the information that accountants record and report on is relevant, reliable and comparable. In South Africa, these principles are Business Entity Matching Principle Historical Cost Principle Going Concern Principle Principle of Prudence Principle of Materiality Don't be like Bud Ledger and bury your head in the sand. In business, we all need to know the generally accepted accounting principles and follow them accordingly. If you all follow these principles, it just works better.